sun slowly rises above the homes and trees of northern Indianapolis, many residents turn over to reluctantly push their snooze buttons. There is one young man, however, who has no snooze button. He does not depend on sleep or energy drinks. He depends on his love of music. Hi, my name is uh, Darren Fetterspill, and I'm from Peoria, Illinois. Darren Fetterspill began his career at the young age of two and a half. But being both illiterate and unable to speak, his career was quickly put on hiatus. Although there were some immediate setbacks, Susan Fetterspill still had hope. When he was a little boy, he showed all this musical potential. He just loved it and sucked it up. And sucked it up, he did. At the age of five, Darren had finally set his foot in the door to success. But would Darren's career grow like the grin on a child's face on Christmas morning? Or would it fade like a cloud on a windy day? Oh, I'm so... God, this is out of tune. As a young performer, who do you think you sound like? Who, who do I sound like? God, I don't even know if you can pin it to one artist, really. All right, I mean, I'm not trying to be like cocky or anything like that. I just, uh, I, I've been told that I sound um, a lot like Jim Morrison, mixed with uh, Fred Durst, um, and a little bit of Adam Duritz from The Counting Crows. Attitude of Easy E, John Legend. I, I try to I try to rock the harmonica like Dylan. I want to say Beethoven because he's like the Babe Ruth of of music. But I mean I'll, I'll say it Beethoven. Partially because for a while I was tone deaf, but but not anymore. So I guess it's more like Bach. I think I kind of have the soul of Aretha Franklin. Sometimes Celine Dion. Like honestly Bono. Bono Bono. Uh, because I'm Irish and I look good in, in those like colored shades. This song was rated by Rolling Stone as one of the top 50 driving songs. Tell me a little bit about some of the bands you're in. To start off, um, I've done some solo work. Um, and when I do solo work, I just do it. I go by um, the name, the Darren Fetterspill Project. And uh, the reason why I call it a project is because you know, when you think about it, like a project as it stands is never complete. It's not a product yet. Hopefully when I die and they do like a best of, it'll be the Darren Fetterspill product. Like an actual band that I'm in is, um, it's like a, it's like a techno band type thing. It's like a, an electric temp techno band. And uh, I play the synth for it and uh, it's called Electricity. And it's like city, but like electricity, there's a hyphen in there. And it makes more sense when you read it. Uh, we wrote a song recently that I think is very, very moving. We've gotten great reception for it. Um, it's called Zap Zap, The Aliens Are Here, and uh, it's actually about bringing the troops home. And uh, another band that I'm in um, is actually a Christian. It's it's a Christian band. It's my church band, and uh, the band's called Thou Shall Not Commit Adultery, which is, it's not really a clever name, but I think it's a message that people should remember and, you know, kind of get off in. So every time we play, you know, Thou Shall Not Commit Adultery, people are like, oh, yeah. So um, I think the message is about as important as, as the music we play. Um, what, are, what are you doing? Oh, well, I thought it sounded good like if we did like a really cool like little like like kind of a majestic sort of sound and then kind of come in with like a, a running snare, you know, like as, as we start in with the vocals. For me, I think of the word hero and I think untouchable, I think almost godlike. Like I, I don't view them as heroes, I view that group of people as like my peers, like Elton John is my peer. Paul is my jam. You do not want, no, you just started. You have no idea what you just started. Say, get that ticket, come back and see me. Now that it's the summer months and everything, I'm really trying to focus more on doing live shows. Thinking about hosting uh, the first of hopefully many concerts um, out in my backyard. Um, it's going to be called either Darren Stock or Darren Palooza. 
I, I haven't really decided yet. I, I'm right now leaning more towards Darren Stock because it's kind of got the more classical, um, sort of obviously like Woodstock kind of feel. Hey mom, what are we doing this weekend? Mm, I don't know. I don't think anything. All right, good, because I'm um, just going to probably throw a concert in my backyard, like Saturday or Sunday. I haven't decided which one yet, though. No. Really? Okay. Um, yeah, so I just want to make sure that was okay. Now tell me, how did you know Darren? Um, well, I met Darren in school, actually. We had a class together. Um, and, and I gave him my number which didn't really work out, he called every night. And, like, he cried a lot. So was the real Darren a crybaby or a true genius at work? I, I have the, f I, think I, I think I'm a little ahead of my time. Um, kind of like, uh, like Pachabelle. <laughs>